Okay, so I want to make some of these um, bottle cap lures. Um, so, this is what you're going to need. Okay, these are split rings right here. Size 3, you can use uh, size 4. Uh, size 4 is a little bit of an overkill, but they're easier to work with. I prefer size 3. And um, you can also use the oval split rings. And um, they are a size 6. You're going to need O-ring pliers. This is a very, very basic cheap set pair and they are they're pretty much junk. Um, I couldn't find my other pair. You're going to need some number 6 treble hooks. These are the blood red treble hooks. And I know they say salt water on them, but you do not need to use salt water hooks. You're going to need some BBs. If you don't have BBs, then you can use some split shot. Because you want your lure to be rattly inside to attract in their fish. You're going to need a 5 and a 64th inch or diameter drill bit. And you are going to need a drill of some sort. Yes sir. Um, I think that's about it. So let's get started. Okay, so you're going to want to wash your lids. Um, because you don't want them to be sticky inside. Um, because you just don't. So I usually put them in a coffee mug with some soap and water and give them a good shake. Um, and then... I go through here and give them another wipe out. So um, just to make sure there's no sticky residue in there because you don't want ants in your tackle box. Right on. Okay, so let's drill this puppy. Find one of these grooves here. Kind of hard doing this with the camera on. Okay, all the way through. And you want your other one to match up with that one. Let me get this camera. It needs help. Okay, that's more better. Okay, so I made my drill bit hole here. So I'm gonna come over here. Turn it upside down so I can see where the hole is. There it is. Two holes. Okay, now we'll get our split rings ready. Okay, we'll put the other one on there now. Or attempt to. Get you a good pair of these pliers. And um, you won't have these types of problems. Okay, there we go. Got our two on there now. Now I'm going to put a hook on. 
There you go. Okay, you may need um, pliers for this step. Um, otherwise, just start pinching it. Pinching it. See how it's starting to close up there. Pinching it. Pinching it, pinching it, pinching it, pinching it. Slowly but steady, pinching it. Okay, now we're going to put our BBs in. BBs! <clears throat> okay. Pinch it. Okay, now. If you want to take pliers and pinch it even more, that's fine. But you want your stuff to be able to move a bit. You don't want it crammed in there, you know? Um, so, it really doesn't matter if it's shut all the way, just so your babies don't fall out. Rattle, rattle, rattle in the water. Um, these work really good um, for bass. And you can also... You can also link these two together if you feel like it. And have a, a doubled hook uh, set up, which also works good. Um, they're extremely fun to make and cheap. I mean, most everybody has this kind of stuff laying around. Um, you might have to buy you some O-rings. Um, I got mine at a tackle shop. You can get them online. You can get them, uh, believe it or not, I bought a package the other day of mi mixed O-rings at Walmart in the crafting section, um, which was awesome. It was like um, $2 for like 400 or so assorted sized O-rings. So, um, most everybody has BBs also. If you don't, like I said, go ahead and put some split shots in there. Um, split shots are cheap. Um, the, the tool, um, the good one, I believe was $8.99. Um, you know, this was like two bucks. And it's it serves its purpose but it's it's really not good I mean if you want to have fun doing this then buy you a good set of these and um, just go to town have fun they work um, I'll do a video uh, coming up and uh, show you that they work um, but there's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube right now of people hauling in lunkers with these guys so hope you enjoyed this um hope you learned something peace